Antarctica has always been a place of mystery. Every year, scientists and researchers are making new discoveries, helping us to map out this barren wasteland. It's during these investigations that amateur researchers have also decided to jump in to try and find things, and this is usually by using things like Google Earth. One of the most recent discoveries that was made here is this one. The people who found the object said it's strange because it appears to be blacked out, leading them to say that the objects are quite small in terms of Antarctica, so someone must have requested that these be blurred out, and this led them to believe that they could be some type of military craft, or perhaps something that came crashing down in the area. Those who have seen these photographs have said that these objects likely belong to the military. However, it's been pointed out that because of the Antarctic Treaty, which came into effect on June the 23rd, 1961, this bans military activity in Antarctica, and military personnel and equipment may only be used for scientific research. Some of these objects that have been discovered appear to have what looks like skid marks behind them, and this has only fueled theories that something is going down here that they don't want people knowing about, with one theory being that there's a heavy military presence here, and this is where they're testing their latest technology, with users saying what better place to do this than somewhere like Antarctica, where nobody will be able to see what's going on. Scientists who have seen these photographs have said that the most likely answer is that they're just icebergs, Further noting that the United States hasn't found anything strange buried in Antarctica, and any investigations going on here are purely scientific, but that hasn't stopped people from finding other strange objects. All around the world, we find evidence of massive pyramid structures that have often challenged our modern notion of the age of humanity, and the technological and developmental might of our early civilizations. Given the fact that these great structures are often found in areas that predate existing archaeological beliefs in early human civilizations, discovering the location of these pyramids, in which humans have never actively inhabited could then prove to be a smoking gun evidence of possible intervention. This is what led to enthusiasts looking towards the icy continent of Antarctica, and claiming that given the continent's recent discovery in completely uninhabitable terrain, to find such a structure amongst its icy lands would be more than enough evidence to prove such a theory. Using complex gathered research data and satellite imaging, the community worked day and night in the hopes of uncovering any evidence of these structures. Believed to be much larger than the Pyramid at Giza, amateur researchers began noticing strange mountains that did not seem to match with the overall landscape of the region. Not only did these supposed large mountains not exist anywhere close to a mountain range, but the region in which it inhabited did not appear to even have the stresses or strains of the tectonic plains that could cause a potential mountain range in the first place. Not only this, but the size of the mountain in the area ended up displaying the proportions of a perfect pyramid, with four even sides, a symmetrical peak, and the same degree in slope gradient compared to that of the large pyramids at Giza. Images of these structures in high definition can also be found thanks to efforts made by researchers to locate the peaks of these mountains, in the attempts to disprove these satellite images, but only work to prove their symmetry and design in clearer imaging, leading to a number of legends surrounding the icy continent, that speak of an advanced civilization before the existence of human civilization. Another recent discovery made in Antarctica is that of a 430,000 year old meter explosion. Scientists who study asteroids, particularly those that enter the Earth's atmosphere thousands of years ago, have a rough time tracking the sediment like breadcrumbs throughout the intervening millennia. Fortunately, any asteroid that crosses Antarctica likely left a discernible trace, as the environment has been untouched and preserved for many years. This was the case with an asteroid that plummeted to Earth 430,000 years ago, during the time that the first Neanderthals were beginning to expand across the globe. The asteroid never actually made contact with the surface of Antarctica, 
but instead exploded in the sky overhead in what's known as an airburst, leaving shrapnel, space rock and intense damages to the earth below. The location was lucky for two reasons. First, a similar explosion over a modern town would wipe the town off the map, and secondly, the isolated region of Antarctica meant that hundreds of thousands of years later, samples from this meteorite could be extracted and studied, which is exactly what researchers did, and what they found surprised them. The samples of the meteorite did not seem to resemble samples taken from elsewhere in the world, as they were bounded together in a strange glob-like formations. These discoveries have allowed scientists to piece together what likely happened, even though the event was hundreds of thousands of years ago. Based on the samples taken, they believe that the asteroid could have been as large as 150 meters wide. Because of the strange formations of the samples, the meteor likely broke up relatively close to the ground, which allowed the fragments full of nickel and magnesium to react with the Arctic ice, and this in turn made them form odd shames. Airbursts are even more damaging than asteroids that make contact with the Earth, because the explosion from the former can destroy a very large surface area, while destruction from the latter is usually limited to the crater that it creates. This airburst likely affected up to 100,000 square kilometers of Antarctica, with temperatures reaching up to 5,000 degrees Celsius. The fact that puzzle pieces like this from space events that occurred before humans even walked to the Earth are able to be put together to tell a story of what happened is truly amazing, and shows just how far science has come. Scientists have always looked up to the sky with hope. With each new discovery that's made, it helps us to understand our place in the universe, and whether we're part of something much bigger. With the billions of galaxies and over 700 quintillion planets that reside within the universe, the chances of there being life outside of Earth seem very high. If we're alone and we're special, then why create billions of other galaxies and planets? The planets that we're looking to explore are mainly Mars and Venus, along with moons such as Enceladus and Europa, which orbit Jupiter and Saturn. Going back, NASA's then chief scientist Ellen Stoffan claimed that by 2025, scientists will most likely discover prominent signs of life somewhere in the universe, saying that all of the data that NASA has gathered points towards us making a big discovery sometime in the near future. This announcement was made while she was speaking at a panel discussion, which heavily focused on NASA's search for habitable worlds. She said the following, I think we're going to have strong indications of life beyond Earth within a decade, and I think we're going to have definitive evidence within 20 to 30 years. We know where to look. We know how to look. In most cases, we have the technology, and we're on a path to implementing it, and so I think we're definitely on the road. End quote. John Grunsfield, who is a physicist and astronaut, carried on with the following. I think we're one generation away in our solar system, whether on an icy moon or on Mars, and one generation away on a planet around a nearby star. End quote. NASA has multiple missions going on at the moment whose job it is to search for signs of life. As mentioned, one of the places where scientists think there could be life is that of Jupiter and Saturn's moons pointing out that Saturn's moon Enceladus could support life due to the ocean being around a billion years old, which researchers said places it in a sweet spot. NASA's Kepler Space Telescope was retired in 2018, but during its mission it revealed to scientists that pretty much every star in the sky hosts planets, many of which could have similar conditions to Earth. However, just because other planets aren't as similar to Earth though, it doesn't mean they can't host life. Researchers have been open about this discussion, and have said that when it comes to the universe it could be filled with weird and wonderful life forms, many of which may not look like anything we have here on Earth. Paul Hertz, who is the director of NASA's Astrophysics Division, described the Milky Way galaxy as being a soggy place. He said the following, 
we can see water in the debris that are going to become planetary systems around other stars, and we can even see comets being dissipated in other solar systems as their star evaporates them. Scientists have now said that we should be focusing on Hycean exoplanets. Hycean worlds are planets with thick and heavy atmospheres that are abundant with hydrogen, which allow for oceans to exist and flourish even under immense temperatures. This is the name given to many Neptunes that match the description of potential life-having planets. These planets tend to be fully composed of water with no continents, and often have permanent mist rising from the heated waters. Further research into exoplanets may reveal the truth to us within the next handful of years, as we develop and establish what we truly mean by habitable. Bjorn Benick from the University of Montreal claims that we as a species have far too high expectations, saying that there may be other ways of finding life that are not dinosaurs crawling around on the surface. Even though it's not the easiest thing to do, these mini Neptunes can be tested. There are countless mini Neptunes in space and based on their positions and surroundings, we will be able to creatively guess whether they have a chance of being habitable or not. According to scientists, even if only 5% of the mini Neptunes match the requirements, it would still give scientists an incredible number of planets to investigate. The Trappist-1 solar system is being studied closely by researchers, in the hopes of finding more of these worlds. Dr. Nicky Mahudson from Cambridge's Institute of Astronomy said the following, This result greatly expands our chances of finding life. By using the host star, astronomers are able to estimate the mass of an exoplanet to determine whether it's made of gas or rock, but it's near impossible to determine whether it has a solid or gas core. But in 2019, and thanks to the Hubble Space Telescope, astronomers were able to glimpse into the atmosphere of K2-18b, which has been labelled as one of these mini Neptunes and discovered evidence of clouds and water vapour. Just last year, it was announced that there's a possibility that one of these mini Neptunes could have enough water to sustain earthly life. In Dr. Niku's words, For the first time, we demonstrated that planets can be significantly larger than Earth, and still have livable conditions. The desired outcome for astronomers is to find an Earth-like planet on which we could thrive, to find the ideal Earth to win which unfortunately is much easier said than done. Considering this planet would be around the same mass as Earth, the same size orbit and neither too far from the host stars the oceans would freeze, or too close for the oceans would boil. While planets such as K2-18b could surely have Earth-like life on them, Mahudson has stated it's best not to assume that these planets' conditions would be suitable for humans. Currently, the task is to find alien life, not to find another suitable habitat for ourselves. These mini Neptunes are in between being a gas giant and a rugged dwarf, small versions of our huge icy planets. Unfortunately, as mini Neptunes are far from us, we have not developed a way to study them up close, thus shrouding them in mystery. So what do you make of these interesting discoveries? Be sure to leave your questions and answers in the comments section below, and help us to grow this community while working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.